In this tutorial today, I am going to start a new playlist for testing of Blazor components. And this is about getting started with BUnit. So BUnit is not a full framework in the sense it is like NUnit or XUnit, but it is a package. And you'll see how it can help in unit testing the Blazor components. So for creating a new BUnit test project, you need to a place to put the test that you'd write, which is a test project. As BUnit is not a unit test runner, you'll need a general purpose framework like XUnit, NUnit, or MS test in addition to the BUnit in order to run, write and run tests. And in the following sections, we shall create a test project manually in a general purpose testing frameworks agnostic way, means in the neutral way. Like uh, general purpose testing frameworks means uh, X unit and unit are MS test. So let's see. Get over to the Visual Studio now. Now, after switching over to flipping over to Visual Studio 2019, I have created a Hello World project the usual way that is Blazor Web as Assembly project, not ASP.NET Core hosted. And if you click on this counter, current count is 0, 1, 2, it will increase. This is a very uh, common templated Blazor WebAssembly uh, component, which is which comes off the shelf. Okay, so it is the counter demo. Now comes the real thing. I will create a test project manually. So I will create, I will try with, I will, I will do this part with X unit. And later on, we can do the same test with N unit and MS test. But in this lecture, I will be creating a new X unit test project. So what I will do is I will click on tools and click on command line and developer command prompt. And on the developer command prompt, which actually is taking me to the um, this project counter demo where this uh, folder is lying, this project is created. Now here I will give it a um, now test project for creating the test project that .NET this is command line interface CLI so this is .NET new X unit and this is a switch O for output uh, and name of the test project will be say B B unit test okay click on enter it will create the test project for you so test project the template x unit test project was created successfully and is determining the projects to restore restore succeeded okay so it's getting me back to the uh, command prompt okay so now let's move over to that uh, folder where this test b unit test project is created okay so now, before changing directory to this uh, B unit test, I thought I will test whether it has been really created as it suggested this command line and it is really created. So, this is a test project. So, it is that B unit test.cs project with one unit test one.cs. We'll inspect that closely later on. So, coming back to the Visual Studio. Uh, let me take to the Visual Studio counter demo project and open the command prompt again. And I will now cd change directory to uh, this test project, which was again this was B unit test. So I will just cd to the folder where it is lying B unit test. Okay, so it is now taking me there. So I am now into the B unit test directory. Now I will have to add B unit to the test project. Okay, so I have already created the X unit testing project. Now I will have to add the B unit to the test project. So what the command is there is dot net add package B unit. 
hyphen hyphen version 1.1.5 okay this is the package we are going to add De determining projects to restore everything is now fine writing assets to the disk now this package is added b unit version 1.1.5 so let's close this for the time being now before doing anything else let me add this project to the solution test project that we have created and i have shown you earlier so solution add existing project now this is an existing project and i'll just click on b unit test here so add this cs project so project file will add the project okay now let's double click this project file for this uh, b unit test project and i'll have to do a bit of change that is in the sdk i'll have to add the word sdk dot razor okay that is sdk dot razor and my framework is already set at net 5.0 target framework so had it been anything else i would have to make it for net 5.0 that is what the b unit package is targeting okay this asp.net 5 here one thing needs to be understood that you know i could pretty much as well um, have added to this solution this b unit test to the solution counter demo which already contained the counter demo uh, project with the counter component that we are going to test but uh, i could i chose it the easier way that is to add to the solution an existing project that is what i did okay now switching over to the test actual test so let's quickly again inspect this uh, counter dot razor counter component which is nothing but a, it has got a paragraph with a p tag current count colon at current count and at current count it comes from this you know private integer current count zero this variable within the code section of this razor file and it calls there is a button which on click event of this calls this method which increments the current count by one okay now i'll have to write a test class so i can either change this default class unit test one dot cs or i can create a new class uh, let me just uh, change this and rename this to counter test dot razor counter test dot cs it's not a razor file you can test it through razor file but it is a class file we are going to test okay yes so just open this counter test and then copy and paste the code that i have on my clipboard now this is my pasted code which i have pasted over the existing code so there are two squiggly lines i can just potential fix it by using b unit okay using b unit this will take care of this test context class and then counter this is the potential fixes counter is in the um, counter actually it cannot see the counter component so what we need to do is to just make a using statement using uh, what is this project name is counter demo dot pages now within the pages folder it is counter dot razor so this is counter demo is the project name so now before that this uh, test project should have the refer reference of this counter demo project this component project okay so add project reference now counter demo is referred so it's okay now click just uh, save everything and then you should have counter demo counter demo dot pages okay i'm using this counter demo dot pages so that now counter is visible 
now all that is required is to run this project just uh, build this project build solution so to succeed it let's run the test and then i will explain these lines okay so actually this is pretty text for uh, uh, straightforward we are creating a variable of uh, type text context which comes from uh, this b unit it's a package of b unit so if you go to the definition it is a text context is derived from one text context space and this is assemblies b unit dot web okay so it is automatically brought over by the b unit package now then another variable this to this uh, context that you are creating ctx dot render component render component is another method and it takes a this counter component okay so params component parameter okay and then you are calling the find this is the extension method as you can see extension over here and then you are just uh, giving button which is the class of this button if you look into this this is button button primary this class is different sorry this is dot find what is the thing it presents um, css selector css selector is button dot click so you are just finding a css selector of button and then clicking it and then you are finding the paragraph p this is also a css selector p dot markup matches a markup which matches current count equals one so this if you look into this this is current count this is one it has to be one after incrementing after clicking this button once right should it not be now if you now test it run all tests or just click on test explorer it will bring the test explorer So once the test explorer is steady, it will bring this test which you have already written there. Counter should increment when clicked. Uh, if you click on run or run all tests, then it will run the test and see if it is passed or failed. It'll take a wee while. So one test passed. So that's all. Now in this lecture, we have seen how to create a um, I mean, test package or test project for using X unit test framework and using B unit um, package in ASP.NET Core and write a simple unit test to test the counter component. And thank you very much.